Spend five minutes with Mayor Ed Snow and you'll realize he loves his community. He is simply the most recognizable person in the village of Walton. His passion is clearly Walton and creating new economic opportunities. He lives the Chamber's vision that thriving communities start with prosperous businesses. He connects businesses with the resources needed to open and grow. His recent election as director to the Coalition of Watershed Towns gives all business owners an effective voice. We continue our conversations with some of the Delaware County Business Award recipients. And I'm joined now by Ed Snow, Mayor Ed Snow, uh, who is going to receive our Community Connector Award. Ed, Ed is the mayor of the village of, of Walton. Uh, Ed, congratulations on receiving this. It's a new award, a first time, the inaugural uh, Community Connector Award. Well, thank you. It's, it's quite an honor, and I, I appreciate it because it'll help to accent Walton and what goes on in Walton. And since I've been with my, this administration and with the help of the board, we've been concentrating on commercially on the businesses and getting Walton up and running like it used to be many years ago. Well, the, the idea of the Community Connector Award is to recognize a municipal or elected official uh, that is really goes beyond what's expected uh, to connect the business community uh, to to the, the elected officials, but also to connect that business community to that broader community. And you certainly have done that uh, here in Walton. Well, thank you. I, I, I'm a person that likes to go out. I'm a social person. I go out and talk to people. I, I like to let them know that they're welcome here. And if I can help them at all connect with other businesses or a place like the IDA where they could get some grant money mm -hmm. or some low interest loans, and it's worked out really well. I mean, um, last year, my first year back, we opened up seven businesses. We got seven or eight more business going this year. And uh, like the Ball and Alley for one has been closed down for almost 10 years. Now we got that's going to be opening up probably in October. Okay. And uh, the next would be a restaurant. We have a person that's interested in doing a rib place there. And Joe and Vinny's Pizzeria that was going to open up on Liberty Street has talked to Tom and Joe Mango, and they're going to open up their business there. They're going to have two storefronts. One is going to be a restaurant, and one will be where you get the pizza and cook and everything like that. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of new business. And where Tom's Tire Barn is, that's being taken down. There's a, a corporation called BAPA, B-A-P-A-L-L-D, that bought it. I checked them out, and they've opened up about 60 Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin-Robbins combinations. So there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Rip, a rip place in Walton. Now you're now you're, yeah, you're singing my song. Well, not only that, on 150 Delaware, Ashley and Matthew were also getting awards. Yeah. They redid that whole building on the second floor. They got an art gallery, which a lot of people love, which we need, which is wonderful. Pippins. Yeah, Pippins. And down below, there, there's a, uh, a barber hairstylist place. Yeah. Uh, next door is supposed to be, hopefully, a, a Whole Foods place and then a yoga place. Uh, if you go down the street a little bit, we got a new ammo and gun shop that opened up. Yeah. And down a little bit further from where Brandau's is, you got the UA collections. You can go online and see it. He makes so uh, yoga um, soy candles, artistic candles. Uh, so we have quite a variety of stuff that's going on. It, you do, and 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 that's tremendous news for here in Walton. Um, you are passionate about this community, and, and that shows. I mean, shows every time I speak with you, uh, and, and that comes across very clearly when you're speaking with prospective business owners. Um, but you're not from Walton. No, I'm... <laughs> Why don't you tell a little bit of your story and how you ended up coming to Walton? Well, you know, I, I originally grew up in Maine, the southern tip of Maine by York Beach, Kenny Bunk Port, which is a yeah. small rural area. And I joined the Marine Corps, went to Vietnam. When I came back, I said, I want to go to New York City because I always wanted to be a cop in the back of my mind. And there's nobody in my family in the police. So I came to New York, took the test, passed it, and I put in 20... And not, not to, to be a police officer in Maine, but to in New, New York. York City. Well, because they had the reputation of being the biggest and the best in the world. Okay. And I figured, let me go and see if I can make be part of it. And I passed. I got promoted to detective. I retired. And then I said... I like to get back to my roots a little bit. And my wife said, okay, because our kids were relatively older. And um, 
We looked on the map. I had never been upstate my whole life. Okay. Looked on the map. I seen Walton. And I said, let's go check it out. Because there's, uh, there used to be a show called The Waltons. Well, and sure. I, and I said, let's go see John Boy and Walton Mountain. You're the, kidding as, me. As, I mean, literally. As, you as had a it, map, and it was like... There it is. Let's go see it. And when we came down Bear Street Mountain, I said, oh, my God, what a gorgeous place this is. And we fell in love with the area. I, we bought an old Victorian home that we fell in love with. And I realized that's why I'm so passionate, because I love it here. I still, Walton is like... You got fresh air. We got six springs. We've we've got mountains that's green, three hundred and sixty five days a year. You, you can see eagles flying by. I mean, you got everything going for you. So why not? That's that's quite a story. So it's the truth when I speak it. So that's yeah. why it's from the heart. It's not that I'm making up some political speech. It's the truth. Now this is your. You mentioned since you've been back. So you you've had. How many terms of mayor? <laughs> and it's a little truncated. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, this is my 14th year. I, I came in just before the 14th. flood. 14th. Yeah, I just came in in 2005 before the flood. Then the flood hit us, and we got involved. People said, what are we going to do? And I said, look, I'm a retired cop. I know what to do. With emergencies, what I handled. We called the sanitation department. They came up and they helped the community. And after that, I, I was there for six years. Then I lost the election by 25 votes. Mm -hmm. I was out for two, and someone said, Ed, come on back. I came back for another six years, okay. lost again, and I came back this last time. Everybody said, Ed, come on back again, and I'm back for my third time, so I'm 14 years. That's and hopefully great. I'll stay longer, because I enjoy what I do. Excellent. Well, and as long as the voters enjoy that well, as well. Yeah. I, I, I was a cop because I want to help people, and I, I'm a mayor because I like to help people. That's my number one thing. Now, Ed, you mentioned about all the businesses that have that have opened and others will soon be opening. What do you see the future for the village of Walton to be? You know what? In, in my limited I've been here 25 years, but right. in my limited time here, I equate Walton to Andy's. If you remember Andy's 30, 35 years ago. Pretty sleepy place. Was a pretty sleepy place. Not much going on. Look at the place now. Try and buy a place there now. Look at the bin. Look at the property. Look what's going on. And we're we're bigger than Andy's, so I envision that happening here. And part of that is always I've always said we need the artistic community to come in, mm -hmm. and we're starting to get them to come in. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. We need that happy mix. And I think we're moving in a really really good direction. And you really do have that mix. You have the arts, like you mentioned, Kippins yep. and the and the gallery there. Um, a whole foods place or yeah. natural foods place, I should say. Right. We don't want to worry about yeah. copyright here. Um, you mentioned uh, an ammo store and you mentioned restaurants. So it's it's really a blend of yeah. of all kind of different businesses yeah. that are developing here. And, in and, and not only that, we have a great hospital. We have a hospital uh, that's in the UH, that. UHS yes. health system. We we have a, a really good school system. Anybody that comes into a community, what's the first one of the first things they ask? What kind of hospital do you have? What kind of school do you have? So you you want a mixture. You don't want just older people. You want younger and older. That's what makes a community strive. Well, folks, you just got a little taste of of why Ed Snow is our community connector for 2022.